Hello, my name is Tony. And I'm Dan. And you're listening to Urban Mystics. Hello everyone, this is a guided contemplative prayer session. These sessions are intended to provide instruction and guidance through contemplative prayer exercises. We hope and pray that you are blessed by an intimate experience of communion with God. This is Urban Mystics. My name is Tony and I will be leading our meditation time. Today I would like to lead you in an imaginative exercise intended to create space for dialogue with God. Let's begin by finding a comfortable position and an alert but relaxed posture. Begin by becoming aware of your breathing. Notice the physical sensation of your breath as you take a slow, deep breath in. Feel the air streaming in to fill your lungs. Feel your chest and belly rise. And then exhale, still noticing the physical experience. Continue to breathe slowly deeply and intentionally, allowing your body to relax. Now, become aware of the rest of your physical self. How does it feel to be you today? Scan your attention from the top of your head down to your toes, making note of any places of pain or tension. And if you're able, let your focus purposefully release that tension. As you breathe, use the intake of breath to silently speak a word of consent to the intentions and movement of the spirit during this time of prayer. As you inhale, express your consent with your own short phrase, like your will be done, or spirit lead me. As you exhale, silently speak a word of surrender to the gift of God's presence. Use your own short phrase to express your desire to enter communion with God, like be near or I'm here. Continue to breathe for a few minutes and simply rest in the stillness. Your mind may race with thoughts and that's okay. If you catch yourself drifting in your mind, return to your breathing. As you rest in stillness, gather your attention to the present moment. At least for the rest of our time together, there's nowhere else you need to be. There's nothing you need to do. You are loved as you are right now. Let that be enough. Breathe and settle yourself into this present moment.
Holy Spirit, we trust you. Move in us and guide us in our imaginations. Hold our focus and protect us from anything that would seek to interrupt or interfere. Lead us into an intimate experience of communion with God. Amen. This imaginative exercise is called the meeting place. The space you will be using your imagination to visualize will be your own unique secret meeting place. A place where at any time, for any reason, you may return to your imagination knowing God will be there to meet with you. I will not tell you what kind of place to imagine. This place is yours to envision so what kind of place would you imagine God would meet with you? This isn't to say God only meets with you here. It is instead a place you look forward to returning to that represents the space of communion. A place could be anywhere. A place where you're familiar with, a place you've been to before, or a place that holds special meaning for you. Or it could be a place you create entirely with your imagination. What is important is only that you're able to visualize the details of a setting. You might visualize a back porch on a warm, quiet evening, a favorite spot in a park, a booth in a cozy coffee shop. Take a moment to decide on a place that is special to you and God and begin to imagine the details around you. Don't dwell on the decision for too long. If it doesn't feel right this time, you can always try to visualize a new location next time. Use your physical senses to inform your visualization of this place in your imagination. Look around in your mind's eye. What do you see? Are you inside or outside? If you're outside, what does the air feel like? Is there a breeze? If you're inside, how big is the room you're in? What colors are on the walls? Are there windows? Notice for just a moment, if you choose, you have the freedom to control any of the details of the setting. Imagine, for instance, lowering the lights or the sound of rain or fill in the space with the sound of laughter in the distance. Also notice that details will fill themselves in subconsciously. Let these details exist in your imagination as they are. Remember, we have asked the Holy Spirit to move in us, 
pay attention to the details of your imagined space that the spirit brings to your attention. There's nothing you need to do other than observe at this point. Now, in your imagination, become aware of where you are within this place. Let the details of the space inform you. Where are you observing the space from? If you're observing the space from the outside, perhaps looking at the entrance or approaching from the hall. That's fine. Allow yourself to arrive and enter the place you are observing. If you're observing the space from the inside, that is, if the place exists entirely around you, become aware in your imagination of where and how you can move around. You may spend a few minutes exploring the space, look around, Move around, take note of any interesting details you may notice. Now begin to become aware of God's presence within the space, located in the room. If you were to say, God is there, where would you be referring to? Become more aware of the reality that God truly is there with you. How does this make you feel? Are you excited? Tentative? Simply observe and allow it to be. At this point, you may choose to perceive God in whatever way your imagination decides. The form is not as important as the function. What you are doing is imagining a representative image of God's presence. God is doing this for you. It is a gift, a form for you to relate to and interact with. Whatever you imagine, it should be something you find safe and filled with love. Some will find it easiest to perceive God in the form of Jesus, a relatable human in the form of a man. Some will imagine God in the form of an attentive father or a nurturing mother. Still others may perceive God in their imaginations in the form of an animal or a color, an emanating light, a loving family pet, or best friend. However this perception takes shape in your imagination, allow it to be. There are no right or wrong answers. This imagined space is yours and yours alone. You do not need to share it with anyone else unless you choose to. What form does God's presence take for you?
in your visualization. Does God approach you? Or do you approach God? Be attentive to the details of this engagement. Does God approach you with warm hospitality or eager excitement? Or does God wait, aware of you, but protective of your freedom to approach whenever and however you are ready? Visualize yourself moving closer to God. Allow this engagement to play out. Greet one another. Pay attention to what happens and how you are feeling. Allow yourself to imagine any physical actions and body language. Does your greeting include a hug? What is your posture before God? What are the expressions? What is it like to be in God's presence with God's direct attention? What is God's posture towards you? Who speaks first? What is said? If you have imagined any exchange of dialogue in your imagination, I want you to notice for just a moment that you are listening to God in this exchange. This imaginative exercise is a prayer practice and you are hearing God speak to you in prayer. For a quick practice, Imagine yourself asking God this question. God, what are some of your favorite things about me? Imagine yourself actually speaking the question. Take a breath. Stay in your visualization. You won't need to come up with your own answers. You don't need to make anything happen. Just listen in your imagination, in your heart, what do you hear? How do you imagine God responding to you? You will have more space in just a moment to continue your interaction with God. As you do, just be yourself. The conversation doesn't have to be heavy or deep. You don't have to accomplish anything more than quality time today. What do you want to talk about with God? Or what does God want to talk about with you? 
perhaps there's no talking at all. And instead you've come to this meeting place just to spend intimate time with God. Whatever you need this time to be, let it be. There are endless possibilities in your secret meeting place with God. If imagination is an effective tool for you to engage with the presence of God in an experiential way, then I encourage you to continue returning to this as a prayer posture. Let it become a place so real, so familiar, that you could describe it to someone like you might describe your own kitchen. However, if this kind of imaginative exercise isn't engaging or seems difficult for you, that's entirely okay too. Spend your time in prayer with exercises that are fruitful. Don't force this one and end up feeling guilty if it doesn't ever connect for you. Whenever you are ready, it may be helpful to visualize yourself leaving. There's nothing wrong with leaving. God knows that you have things you need to get to. God is also thankful for the time God has had with you today. Proceed to leave in whatever way feels appropriate for your space. Imagine giving God a hug saying some parting words, or even making plans for when you will meet up again. Then imagine yourself walking out the door or leaving the visualization place in whatever way makes sense. When you exit, end your visualization by thanking God for any gift that may have been imparted to you, whether you perceived it or not. And continue on with your day. I want to thank you for coming. You're entirely invited to continue staying in your meditation space for however long you need to. But for now, I will say goodbye. May the rest of your day be blessed with a continued sense of God's presence. We'll be back next week when Dan leads us in another meditation exercise.